Американский дом очень обеспеченных людей. Это черный туалет. Какое огромное количество пиджаков. Королевская какая. Всем привет, дорогие друзья! У меня сейчас появилась возможность снять американский дом очень обеспеченных людей. Давайте познакомимся с владельцем этого дома и посмотрим этот дом. Ну что, ребята, готовы? Hello. Итак, дорогие друзья, это Ларри. Nice to meet you, Larry. Nice to meet you. Can you please a little bit introduce yourself for our viewers? Right. Right. I'm Larry Pennington. I was living full time in Rehoboth. We used to live in DC and then came here for summers and weekends, and now we live here full time. So why you decided to move to Rehoboth Beach? Well, because I've been coming here since 1979. We love the beach, and in retirement, we wanted out of the city and to go somewhere more entertaining and and quieter when it comes to traffic and all. And can you say some words about this house? Uh, you right. built it or you bought it? We, we built it in 2001 and we were able to design the interior, move walls around the way we wanted them to get it the way it is now. So, and we're very happy with it. That's really nice. So let's start. You can show right. our house. All right. Our house. His house. This is our grand piano. We spend most of our time in the family room, which is very comfortable for us. In the winter, we have the fireplace. We eat at this table. It has a leaf that we put off. On this table? Yes. We sit here and eat, and then... And then that way, if you're cooking and whatever, you have the TV or you've got the music on, and you can enjoy being in the space. I want to pay attention to the fact that the whole house is built in a historical format. Тут все вещи настолько старые, антиквариатные. Потом нам Ларри расскажет про какую-нибудь са самую старую вещь. This is a kitchen? Yeah, this is our kitchen, which we don't cook a lot. Where our joke is that we have a kitchen because it came with the house. Mm -hmm. And then if we are having guests for dinner, then we use the dining room. You can get 12 people at this table with all the leaves in. I think that this table is very old. So it is. You know it's what a year of this table? But it's from the 30s. And then that's, this is the oldest piece. This is a family piece. This is a Sheridan style uh, chest made in Virginia in the 1770s. Those are Hitchcock chairs. Those are for the, from say the 1830s, around that period. Можете посмотреть, друзья, вот эти кресла, они 1830-го года. So, can you sit on these chairs? Oh yeah, we use them. So we, we, we breakfast every morning on the armchair. The federal period in the U.S. was after the uh, revolution. Then these these were stylish in the federal period. And this room is done in the federal style. The, the draperies, the black and white floor, that's all federal style to go with these. And when did you buy these chairs? I bought these in an antique shop. When antique we were shop. visiting my mother and we found these and bought them there. And then we have another set. These are also Hitchcock, but those are rush seat. This with the solid wood, this is called a plank seat. We have, we have six of those and six of these. Well, we use this as our bar, although there is a full-size bed that comes down behind that cabinet if we need it. For now, we use this as, when we entertain, we always hire a bartender who then serves the drinks so that we're free to enjoy our company. So he could work like all the evening, all, all yeah. the night for you? Well, like yeah, the we, cocktails, we usually have some, and party. we'll have somebody at work doing the food and somebody passing hors d'oeuvres. And if it's a big party, we have somebody to open the door and take coats. So how many people can come to your house? For the We've party? had 120, 120 at a cocktail 20? party, yeah. Ребята, 120 человек было в этом доме на вечеринке, они пригласили сюда бармена. What drink do you prefer? I mean, well, what's I drink, your best drink? I drink uh, bourbon. I drink uh, Maker's Mark bourbon. But I also like, I, I'm very fond of wine as well. Nice. I'm not big on vodka or gin. Да, это только, только русские ребята любят пить водку. And then this, this is our, our little powder room. Самое интересное, друзья, что меня удивило тут, Это черный туалет. Я никогда таких не видел. And you told me that you changed the cover for this, right? Yes, because this had a little white sink and a little white uh, toilet. And when we got the new sink installed, then the white toilet looked terrible in this space. 
This space was supposed to be a laundry room, but we moved the laundry to our master bedroom and bumped this wall out so that this is a sleep sofa. We can use it for extra sleeping. And then this became basically a coat room because we have all of our coats wow. stored here. And then on our way out to the garage, we can get our coats. We have we store our hats in here. Yeah. And can you say some words about the uh, Oh, we collect Star beers? Starbucks bears. Those are and we have them we have them seasonally. We have the summer ones, we have them for all the holidays, and we switch them out. As you can see, they're all dressed for summer. Now we should be getting out our, our back to school bears, which we haven't done. Well, here's one. Here's a back to school hmm, Starbucks is. bear. Yeah, he's all ready for school. He's on that should that's and I got all the drugs in the world that you we enjoy dressing up, and so we needed some place to put the clothes. <laughs> Ребята, вы только посмотрите. Зайдите сюда ко мне. Какое огромное количество пиджаков, всяких рубашек. Я бы просто мечтал бы о таком гардеробе, особенно бы девушки, наверное, мечтали о таких гардеробах. A lot of summer clothes, because there wasn't room for everything in the other closet. And then this is another closet, but that has all costume stuff in it. And then the bathroom, which is, we like our big bathroom. It's, this is the master bedroom, yes. Посмотрите, какая необычная просто кровать. Такие прям тут столбы. Королевская какая-то. We have the second full bathroom. Можете посмотреть, это вторая туалетная комната. And then the guest room. And we have a lot of memorabilia from Air Force One. Book. There's a model of the plane. Так что, друзья, сейчас мы находимся во второй спальной комнате, она только для гостей. Можете посмотреть, сколько тут всяких вещей из воздушных сил Соединенных Штатов Америки. Работал там около 40 лет, а он отвечал за навигационные системы, поэтому тут очень много представлено всяких дипломов. Также при руководстве этого человека было перевезено два президента. I see that you like the Cadillacs. Yes, I do. We have three. We have two sedans and a convertible. Federal period they're called a bullseye mirror, and my great grandmother had one, and I was fascinated by it, and I inherited it. So then I started collecting them. So I've got this one, which is the largest one I've ever seen, and I love it. And then here's another example. And these little knobs, they're always 13. They represent the 13 original colonies. And then the eagle represents the US because that was our national bird. So that's why that one has an eagle clutching the uh, Lightning bolts in its claws. А сейчас, друзья, мы посмотрим, на какой машине он ездит. Мы сейчас находимся в Кадиллаке, которым владеет Ларри. Сейчас он вам расскажет немножечко про него. Что я хочу еще сразу вам сказать, то что когда меня попросили, сейчас мой оператор попросил, чтобы я подвинулся вперед, я искал механических ручек. Оказывается, тут все просто на электрике. So, Larry, can you introduce all of yours about it's your a, car? It's a 1993 Cadillac Alante. It was a very limited production. Uh, car. They started them in um, Detroit. Then they sent them to Italy on big planes and Pin Farini put the bodies on. Then they sent them back to Detroit to finish them. So they called it the longest assembly line in the world. It was the most expensive car made in America at that time. This is a uh, only has 73,000 miles on it and I'm the third owner. This was a new color in 93, and they only sold seven, so this is one of seven. So only seven cars in the world yeah, this of this color. color. Yeah, of this color. And it's a very limited production. There's not, they only made it from 1987 to 93, uh, maybe like 20,000 a year or less. So there are very few around. And what the engine of in this car? This has a North Star V8 engine, a very large V8, the same as in my Cadillac sedans. And it's a very lightweight car with uh, fiberglass, a lot of fiberglass in the body, so it goes very, very fast. So it's V8. It's a V8. It's a large Друзья, V8. Yeah, тут восемь цилиндров, и сейчас мы обязательно с вами их послушаем. Давайте сейчас послушаем сзади. У меня, друзья, даже появилась возможность проехать немножечко на этой машине. Как же ехать классно на машине, которая всего 7 только во всем мире. Ну что, друзья, я очень надеюсь, что вам понравилось это видео. Подписывайтесь на мой канал. Всем спасибо, всем пока.
Get my geek on. Get my get my geek on. Get my geek on. Get my.